Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Leo Sun Moon Rising. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay. Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Leo Sun Moon Rising. Okay, what does Leo need to know at this time regarding their love life? What messages do you have for Leo regarding their love life, please? Please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, what messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life at this time? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands coming out. Okay, somebody's feeling a bit drained, at wit's end, exhausted. Let's see, what else? Let's clarify the Nine of Wands energy for Leo. What other messages do you have? Ten of Pentacles. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles here. Okay, so you could be, for some of you, you feeling exhausted from trying to keep everything, like, perfect in your world. Okay. Nine of Swords. Some of you are even losing sleep over it. Excuse me. Yeah. And then we have the Ten of Swords here. So, all right. So you have the Nine and Ten of Swords. Okay. All right. So let's see. You have some anxiety going on here. Mental anguish. So, yeah. Like I said, you guys are just very tired, exhausted from uh, just giving yourself all this anxiety and uh, like pressure. You have, like I said, all this going on in your head because you just, you everything is fine in your world. You have a firm foundation. Everything is good. Uh, I'm feeling for some of you, you just have anxiety that it's going to go away. Like everything has been going so well for so long and and you feel like you've been putting in so much um energy to make this relationship work and to be as healthy as it is that you're at a point that it's mentally exhausting and if you can tell even like the way i'm trying to describe this it's like uh, 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 like it's just that anxiety of like, oh, I have to just make sure I'm on top of everything and everything goes well because if I make a mistake, like I don't want things to get screwed up and it's my fault. So having said that, the energy that I'm feeling from some of you is it could be this is your second time around in this relationship with someone. And if this isn't your energy, this is their energy towards you. And it, it's just kind of like things are going well, but you feel like you're walking on eggshells, you know, and you're mentally exhausted from just in your head, like, everything has to be perfect. I just, <gasps> you know what I mean? Calm down. Calm down. All right, everything is okay. Calm down. All right, let's see. What other cards do we have here for Leo? For some of you also, I'm getting coming through that you're trying so hard to make everything look perfect and you're losing sleep and you're like just so done on the inside because you're just tired of trying. You're tired of trying to make it work. You're like I said, you're just mentally exhausted from trying to figure out what can I do next to keep everything on the up and up. And it's just, it's too much. It's too much. You shouldn't have to work that hard. It shouldn't have to be that way. Okay, so we have purification here. Okay. Yeah, it's time for a cleansing. You need to purify your mind. Cleanse your thoughts. Okay. Past life. There may be a past life lesson that you need to learn here. That you can't make everybody happy is what's coming through. And I feel that's what you're trying to do here. You're taking on the responsibility all on yourself. Because you feel that in order to keep this together, you have to do this. To keep everyone happy. But you don't have to do that. And that's your past life lesson. Okay? 
Yeah, peace. You just want peace. That's why with the Nine of Wands, like for some of you, you're just tired and drained and you're, you're exhausted and you may even be ready to give up. Okay, abundance. So we have here at the Ten of Pentacles, this is that abundance. Okay, so it could be, you know, like financially everything is fine in the relationship. You know, you have your family around you. You know, you have your, um, just everything is in order. Your foundation is firm, but... You know, it could be, like I said, for some of you, this is the second time around. So on the outside, everything looks wonderful to everybody else. But on the inside, it's, you're just, it's too much. It's too much to put on this facade of everything is wonderful when you know it's not. You know, you've been doing it for too long and you're tired. And that's, that's okay. It's okay. All right. So let's see. What other messages do we have here for Leo? Regarding their love life and this reading, please. Okay, this is the power of love deck. Let's see, what do we have for Leo? Okay, thank you. Okay, we have harmony. You are able to feel a loving, balanced connection with everything. So you just want harmony. You're trying to keep that balance, but mentally, it's too much. Transformation. You use the power of love to move through illusions and shift into awareness. So you're becoming more aware that this is too much. And like I said, for some of you, you just want this peace. You want to just like purify yourself of, of all the anxiety and the stress and the mental anguish and the exhaust, exhaustion, excuse me, and you're ready for a transformation. Some of you are ready to just say, you know what, I can't do this anymore. Okay, so let's go to the Love Oracle deck now. Okay, what is going on with Leo? Can you please clarify the Nine of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Nine of Swords, and Ten of Swords for Leo regarding your love life? What is going on? What is going to happen? Okay, a lot of messages from the Love Oracle deck here. Okay. Okay, so we have here Cupid's Arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise, invitation, or meeting, hesitation. So I'm feeling there's some hesitation here. You don't want to do this because you have faith that this is going to work out. You have faith it's all going to work out. But for some of you, the reality is you still are going through this because it's the second time around. So if it's the same thing the first time, the same thing the second time, you know, talking, interested, conversing more, awaited message arrives, text, call, email. Okay, so you guys are going to have to have a conversation about this. So if this is something you've been keeping to yourself, it's time to talk about it. Cassette, outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. That's the mental anguish that you got going on here. You may be having some outdated thinking, okay, where you're thinking, well, if I just, you know, suck it up and keep dealing with it and taking all the burden on myself, everything will be okay because that's how we did it back in the day. But that's not how it's done nowadays. Things change. Things evolve. The world today is not the same world it was 40, 50 years ago. You know, the way our parents lived at our age is not the same way that we're living now or the way our kids are living now. So it's pointing out to you this outdated thinking, okay? You need some reconditioning. Okay, date. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan or set a date. So the universe is letting you know that it's time to meet someone new, okay? So this old person that you're dealing with, it's okay to let them go. Go through that transformation. Meet someone new. Start fresh. You need to really remove this negative energy from yourself. And like I said, with past life, again, this is the second time around for you with this person. It's not going to get better. It's time for a new relationship. Okay, girl with a snake, empath and narcissist paradigm, being charmed or used, enable, boundaries. Okay, so you may feel that you're being used or this person is charming you uh, or you may be 
relaying this energy to somebody else, okay? It's not a healthy relationship. This is toxicity here. And then we have snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, looking over your shoulder, the other woman. Okay, so there, there could have been a third-party situation here at some point, okay? And that could be why, you know, you... You or they forgave you the first time that there was an indiscretion. And, you know, now you're trying to overcome it. You're trying to let it go. But you still have this mental anguish. You're still pretending everything is fine when you know damn well it isn't. And it's, it's hurting you more than anybody. And this is not healthy for you. The universe is telling you it's time to meet someone new. Okay, this is not a healthy relationship for you. You have outdated thinking. You have to let that go. It just because if this is someone that you're married to or you've been with for many, many years, it's we're not in that kind of world anymore where it's like, okay, I married this person. I'm with them to the till the death. It's beautiful in sentiment, but it, it's no longer a present reality. I'm not saying get married five times. You know, I mean, it's it's respectful that you have that value to feel that way as I agree with you I feel the same way but if it's not working out and you've tried it's not meant for you to suffer and that's my point there is no need for you to suffer here okay like a hundred years ago or you know 80 years ago oh you don't get married you suck it up until you die and then people cheat and then they have 12 kids with all these different people we don't live in that age anymore. Now we're in an age where, okay, you're not happy, you tried. Well, you did your best. That's all that you can do. If it's not your fault, if somebody had an affair, okay, things happen. What, what are you going to do? Be miserable for the rest of your life? Punish yourself to teach someone else a lesson? That doesn't make sense. You know, like I said, you're hurting yourself here. I see you are the one with the mental anguish here. And that's not fair to you. You deserve to be happy. And I see you want peace and purification here. And you're only going to get that if you release this burden from yourself and meet someone new. And it says, have faith, love is coming. Okay? But you have to release the old to make room for the new. The universe is not going to give you something when you're not ready for it. Okay, what initials are relevant to Leo at this time, please? Thank you. Okay, so first one that flipped, we have a P. Somebody here with a P initial. J. PJ. Somebody sitting in their PJs watching this? Or uh, PJ initial and Z. PJZ. Okay. So it could be the initials of a person, place, or thing. Okay. Okay, I can actually add a little bit more here. Okay, so I'm going to grab the Love and Connection deck here and see what other messages do we have for Leo regarding their love life and this reading. Give yourself much more credit. Beautiful. That, that is perfect. Give yourself much more credit, Leo. A stranger than strange. Preponderance to ponder. Those in great relationships aren't always those who are good at relationships. And those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. Oh, see? Wow. Even though I used preponderance ineptly, this one is really good. Please ponder the universe. So I want to read this again here. Those in challenging relationships aren't always those who are bad at relationships. So that's perfect for this. So this was a challenging relationship, this long-term relationship that you were in. It doesn't mean that you're bad at the relationship. It just means this was a challenging one and it no longer serves its purpose. You are meant to move on and be happy further down your path. Okay, this, this union and this connection was not meant to be a forever connection. If you have children together, then, you know, and, and maybe you guys have gone through some tough times, that could have been the purpose. 
to be there for one another, to, you know, have a family together, raise those children and support one another. But now, you know, in, in another part of your life, like that chapter is over, it's time to start a new one, but you need to separate yourself from this toxicity. Okay, so you are not bad at relationships, okay? Give yourself much more credit. There's better for you out there. Okay. Now let's see. Any other messages for Leo? Thank you. Okay. It's not only about being right. In all tests of character, when two viewpoints are pitted against each other, in the final analysis, the thing that will strike you the most is not who was right or wrong, strong or weak, wise or foolish, but who went to the greater length in considering the other's perspective. Interesting. So this could be a, a situation where this fighting that you may have been going through, it was just about who's right, who's wrong, not understanding one another's perspective. And maybe understanding one another's perspective would bring you guys to the conclusion that, okay, this is no longer working. And that's why it's okay to let it go, okay? So that you can meet someone new and have that happy relationship that is meant for you. Okay. All right, so that's all I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for watching, sharing, liking, and subscribing. Peace and love, and I will see you in the next reading.